Hi everyone, it's Mike here. So, today, let's talk about vintage seed packets. Now, I've been working on a personal project for a while, and part of that project, I needed some seed packets um, to go inside the project. And so I went on, on the internet, and I had a search, and I found um, four kind of vintage seed packet images that are obviously public domain and out there because they're all over the place. Um, this one is actually for a wedding. So this is actually an invitation one that's been created, which is why it says save the day. I didn't actually notice this until after I'd already printed it and stuck it all down. I just thought it was a seed packet, but actually it isn't. It's obviously somebody's wedding um, in Kentucky, Greenville, Kentucky on 24th of June 2012. So belated congratulations to John and Amber. But um, I needed five for my project and because my project is sunflower related these seemed really good but I needed five and I didn't want to duplicate so I created my own to go so literally I just created my own because my day job is a graphic designer it wasn't much just to find um, a sunflower image that had a transparent background a PNG uh, and I just created this in my graphics package that I use for my day job and created a fifth one. Now I probably will go back and create another one to change this one because I don't particularly want this going in my project so I will do another one later on. But I got to thinking, um, I need, or in my stash of vintage and um, graphics and elements and stuff and ephemera I don't actually have any seed packets so to speak I do have some vintage seed packets but all the um, they are, they're all very much very different they're all different styles they're all different kind of backgrounds they're all different colors and I haven't got anything that actually really matches and I haven't got a complete set or a decent set of vintage seed packets so this morning, when I sat down at my desk, I thought, well, considering that necessity is the mother of most inventions, um, I thought, well, I'm going to put all my day job stuff to one side for a while, and I'm going to sit and I'm going to create a complete set of vintage seed packet labels. And when I say a complete set, I don't just mean one or two or three or four, or a set of six, I've done 24. So, <laughs> I know, I don't do things by halves. Um, so, using some of the graphics that I've already got in my collection of different flowers, they're all in the same style, and I wanted these all to match as a set. So, as you can see, we've got double dahlias, galadias, common camellia, carnations, gentians, honeysuckle, uh, Hortensia, or the Hydrangea, as it's now known. I kept the old-fashioned word. Hyacinth. On the second sheet, we've got Sweet Iris, Datura, Lilac, Peruvian Lily. I just love the colours. We've got the White Lily, Morning Glory. We've got Narcissus and Nasturtium. We've got Passionflower, Pansies, White Peonies, a Red Hot Poker, or Nifophia. We've got cabbage rose, tea rose, thornless rose, and a tulip. So we've got spring, summer, and autumn flowers in there as well. Now, I do appreciate that some of these flowers don't grow from seed. They grow from bulbs, or they grow from tubers, or whatever, or combs, if you like. But this is made-up ephemera. There's no such company as Deakin's Quality Seeds, established in 1889. It's make-believe, it's pretend. That's the whole point. So now I have a complete set of vintage seed packets, 24 different designs that I can draw on and use at any time. Now, this is where the rub came in. Once I'd created all these and done them, I brought my little envelopes out. Now these are a packet of, did I bring them up with me? Yes. Right, I buy these at my local stationery store. Um, and they're, well it says, brown money envelopes. And there's 50 in a packet. They're very, very useful to have. Unfortunately, I didn't measure 
the envelope properly before creating them. I've actually created these the exact same size as the back. So they will fit on just, just see, but I thought well wouldn't it be easier if I actually had an envelope that I can just print, I don't have to go out and buy, that will fit quite comfortably with a tiny little border all the way around. So I did that too. So this is, um, there's two and you can see the little white dotted lines is where you fold and I've just noticed that that's missing one so I'm going to have to go back and alter the template so that it's there but it's, it's there on that one look so literally you, dotted lines are just where you fold so you cut out fold and then you can use your corner rounder for the flaps and these labels stick on and fit perfectly in this section so just to prove it I'm going to cut this out and I'm going to cut one of these out and I'll be right back. Okay so I've cut the little envelope template out, I've scored it and folded it and I've also cut out one of the labels, in this case the cabbage rose, a bit appropriate for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold those bits in, grab some glue and just very carefully just add a little bit of glue on the bottom and then a little bit of glue just down the side and then I'm just going to fold that over to create that little envelope and then you've got a little seed packet. And then all you have to do is decide whether you want to put your label on the front or whether you want to stick it on the back. So just for the purposes of this I think I'm going to stick mine on the back. Uh, I'm not adding any distress to it just yet. I was thinking as well about you know creating these envelopes. One of the other reasons why I've created these little envelopes or little envelope template to go with these labels is that it says they look made in Britain. I don't know whether or not you can get these in the States or in Australia or in Germany or in Sweden or in France or in wherever it is that you live, Holland, uh, South Africa, whatever. Um, I don't know whether you can get these things anywhere else and there's no point me creating some labels for envelopes that can't be bought anywhere else so at least if anybody wants this because obviously this is also going to be a digi download on my website which is available now if you're watching this it will be there so all 24 of these seed labels plus the sheet with the two envelopes on but this will be fixed promise when you get yours, will be there now. So you can do these anytime, anywhere that you actually want. Stick it down with glue, stick them down with tape, it's entirely up to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some glue, not some glue, some distress, well I said distress, some ink and I'm just going to grunge up the edges. Now I have added in the design a little bit of grunge already in there just to make them look a bit vintage but there's nothing saying that you can't create a little bit more. And also those dotted lines are white so you can go around the edges and disguise them by adding some grunge. And then if you want, grab the end, just to make it look a little bit more authentic. I've got a pair of scissors. What you can do as well if you want is just nip off just the corners of that flap.
and there you have it. One vintage looking seed packet that you can add to any kind of project that you want to do. So just before I go, so that's the other set, the last the set, he says. <coughs> there we go. So that's the one that I've actually cut out. But I did have a search through my paper collection as well. Um, and I found some glossy. So this, these are sheets of um, self-adhesive glossy paper. So these will be stickers once I've cut them out. So I'm going to keep these on file, on stash, ready the next time I need them. I'd also like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels without whose generosity and support these videos would not be possible. Thank you.